Hello, my name is Anne Corliss and I'm the chairperson of the Association of Animal Artists and I'd like to welcome you to our exhibition today, Animals in Art, at the Hayworth Gallery in Accrington in Lancashire, which you can see behind me is the most splendid building. I would like to thank Yvonne, who runs this building, for inviting us into her wonderful galleries to show our artwork and I'd like to thank Councillor Dad who made such a big commitment to come today to meet all the artists and to see all our artwork and another person to thank is Stella Mays who we all absolutely adore her artwork and she was the 2011 BBC Artist of the Year and we have persuaded her to come and judge for our annual exhibition which has actually proved to be quite a task and she hasn't quite made up her mind yet because there's far more good artwork pieces than there are categories so I think it'll take a little while but hopefully it'll be done in time for the dinner later on in the year and lastly I would like to thank the Society for All Artists because it's just been such a thrill to have you here to have the opportunity to talk about the Association of Animal Artists and what it means to so many people and why it's such an important thing to perhaps consider joining because there's a lot of fun and there's a lot to be learned and of course cannot forget all the trustees a big thank you we have seven trustees that all have different roles and they do so much for the association and of course all the members without them we wouldn't be anywhere so big thank you to everybody Hello, my name is Yvonne Robbins. I'm the gallery coordinator here at the Howarth Art Gallery in Accrington. We are delighted to welcome the Association of Animal Artists here with their exhibition, Animals in Art. It is a delightful, varied exhibition, both of professional and amateur work, and it's in a wide variety of techniques, both watercolours, oil paintings, sculptures, pastels, everything you can imagine that gives it that wonderful, interesting feel. We are hoping very much in the near future that we will collaborate with the An Association of Animal Artists again and look forward to welcoming you to our gallery to come and see this wonderful exhibition. Thank you. My name's Pollyanna Pickering. I'm a wildlife artist. You know, I always envied people in the arts, other branches of the arts, like musicians and actors. They come together to make their art. Working as a professional wildlife artist is basically a solitary occupation. So it's fantastic to have groups like the Association of Animal Artists, like-minded people, you can meet people, talk to people, see a tremendous variety of work and also of course they give you the opportunity to display your work in superb galleries like this one. Um, the variety of work here is just mind-blowing. I feel quite jealous of one or two of them, I have to admit. And also the Association of Animal Artists are very strong fundraisers for wildlife and for conservation. And I was delighted when, uh, from their last exhibition in Cheshire, they supported my foundation, my charitable foundation. And the cheque they sent me went towards rescuing one of the moon bears in Vietnam from the terrible bow bear farming. This is a fantastic exhibition. You've got to come and see it. I can't recommend it highly enough. My name's David Lyons, and I'm a professional artist. I used to exhibit at wildlife um, exhibitions throughout the country, but because I happen to like painting pussycats, as you can see, and, and cows and domestic animals, I really wanted an association that, that helped me to display the work I prefer to do. And the Association of Animal Artists came along, and that was an absolute godsend. Uh, superb, superb society. The one problem, of course, with being an animal artist, which is what I am, a professional animal artist, is that there aren't many pussycats, sorry, there aren't many tigers, big pussycats, in Lancashire. And it's difficult to get good references. I think David Shepherd said you've really got to get out there into the, into the wilds to get your proper references. Well, I, I can't do that. It, it's, it would be foreign to me to try and paint a lion or a tiger. I have done, I admit. 
but but animals like this and, and this this cat for example uh, is my cat I could tell you a very sad story in fact she was my cat and and I hope I don't get emotional here but the day that I brought this in um, she got run over but uh, she's my pussy cat and I wanted to sell because I want somebody to enjoy her but at the same time if she doesn't sell she's going back on my wall at home because I, I miss that little kid and I, I suppose he can. Um, but other than that, no, I, I just enjoy painting cats and painting cows and, 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 and the AAA, uh, the Association of Animal Artists, is an absolutely superb vehicle for my work. So if you're interested in joining the AAA, um, not the AAA, but the AAA, then I'm sure you can contact them by whatever means. Um, and, and I hope you enjoy my pictures as well. Hello, I'm Stella Mays. I've been invited over here to the Howarth Art Gallery to judge the uh, competition for the Association of Animal Artists. Um, it's been an incredibly challenging job because the standard of work is very high. There's loads of beautiful work. I still haven't made my mind up yet. Uh, I've got some notes to take away. Um, when the uh, competition winners are announced later on in the year, there will be an annual dinner and I will be awarding certificates um, for the people who I've selected. Mm -hmm.